Well, sir, I think a lot of sailors <laughs> will look forward to that. I know there's two issues sailors generally have with, with the fitness that they bring to you, and that's the PFA, uh, the BCA standards, and then other sailors look for, hey, I'm working out all the time, I'm in great shape, I'm scoring outstanding. How is the Navy going to incentivize my additional effort? And I was wondering if you could speak a little bit on what's on the table for that since you mentioned incentivizing fitness. You're good, MC1. I'm not, <laughs> not going to go there because it, it's, uh, if I let that cat out of the bag, um, I, I won't leave any decision space for, for my bosses. Uh, but I, I can assure you that there are incentives in place that we're going to recommend that are different than, uh, than the current incentives. But the biggest one has to be to incentivize better health. We want you healthier in the end. Well, before we conclude, uh, I'd like to add, is there anything either of you would like to add to this conversation? CMP, we'll start with you. Well, I would I'd just say that, you know, when CNO brought me in this job 18 months ago, we were in the throes of sequestration. It was a, uh, 18 mo 19 months ago. Uh, this, the fleet was really struggling for uh, being able to operate and train. Uh, we were looking at uh, furloughs for civilian, our civilian workforce, which is another aspect of talent management and um, managing the folks that we have uh, that we are also addressing. Uh, th but he said, hey, get out and talk to the fleet. Y we got to be talking to our sailors when we're in a, in a crisis mode like we were under sequestration. A lot of uncertainty out there. Uh, and so we got through sequestration. It, there, were a lot of, there was a lot of pain in that, that effort. But now there's also uncertainty when you look at uh, some of the commission report recommendations that are out there. All of this involves people, it involves families, it involves uh, our futures. So uh, CNO's mandate was to get out and talk, get feedback, and then bring things back that are actionable for all of us to take. And I, all I can say is I, I really appreciate the opportunity to spend as much time as I have with sailors on the, on the, on the flight decks, on the hangar bays, and, and, and everywhere else uh, around the fleet and have had some terrific feedback. And I just want to assure sailors out there that we're listening to what they're asking. And uh, we're trying to address their concerns. And you got, you got somebody over here that's running the Navy who really appreciates that and wants to make a difference in the lives of our sailors and their families. So, so uh, I look forward to the coming months as we start implementing some of these other ideas we just talked about this morning.